Welcome back to the Sports News Analysis YouTube channel, where I'm always breaking down the hot sports topics of the day. My name is Mike. Obviously, the big news in the NFL today was the fact that the Chiefs and the 49ers have reportedly agreed to a deal that will send Alex Smith to the Chiefs. In return, the 49ers will get the Chiefs' second-round pick, from this year, so the 34th pick overall, and a future pick, which is expected to be the fourth round pick, uh, at least uh, in the 2014 draft. Just want to take a look at this trade uh, from both sides here and, and give my thoughts on the trade as a whole. Uh, first of all, uh, from the 49ers standpoint, the 49ers add yet another draft pick for this draft. Uh, with all the compensatory picks they could get, the 49ers could have as many as 15 picks uh, in the upcoming draft. When you look at a roster that arguably man for man is the most talented roster in football now anyway, and then you add the fact that they could have as many as 15 picks in the upcoming draft, uh, I don't think, uh, if you're a 49ers fan, you can't be any happier with the job Trent Baalke has done uh, as your general manager and that personnel department has done as a whole. I mean, if you look at, you know, I think what's going to happen here is the 49ers are going to use these picks to fill whatever need they think is the biggest on their team. Uh, there's rumors they're going to make a play at Revis, so maybe they think corner's the biggest need. Uh, you have a guy like uh, Deshaun Goldson. If they don't decide to franchise him, he could become a free agent. So they look to make a move at safety. Do they look to trade up in the draft to get a guy that they really like? You know, what all these draft picks do is it gives them tons of flexibility before draft day and come draft day to make the moves they want. And uh, again, when you look at a roster that's as talented as theirs and the fact that they could have 15 draft picks, I think at minimum they're going to have 12 or 13 anyway. You know, it's just absolutely startling. And I think they did a great job of getting a second round pick, the 34th pick overall for Alex Smith. I mean, I don't think Alex Smith is a bad guy, but he's a guy from 2005 to 2011. Uh, let's face it, uh, he, he was awful, okay? And if he didn't agree to take so much less money from the 49ers, I mean, he would have been out of there a long time ago. He had what, what really amounts to a good year and a half. And when I say good, game manager, don't screw the game up for us, good, for a year and a half. And in return, you know, the 49ers get a coveted 34th pick of the draft. It's the second pick of the second day. Which is key because I think you're gonna have you have a lot of teams that are willing to trade to get up to those early picks on the second day, uh, being that you know the first two rounds are separated, you know Thursday and Friday night. Uh, so I, I just think from their perspective, the trade makes total sense. Obviously, to get a second round pick for a guy who's gonna be a backup for you, and for a guy that I personally don't think is that great. Uh, that probably you probably know where I'm gonna head now from the Chiefs' perspective. Uh, Andy Reid certainly knows a lot more about quarterbacks than I ever will. There's no denying that. I mean, when he traded Donovan McNabb in his own division, people were second-guessing him, and he was exactly right about McNabb that McNabb was done. I just find it hard to believe that there's not a quarterback in this draft that they could have taken with that 34th pick that potentially will be good, as good or better than Alex Smith. And to not take a chance on a guy like that, uh, I don't think what I'm trying to get at, I guess, is I don't think Alex Smith will ever be the quarterback of a team that wins a Super Bowl. He couldn't do it with a roster like the 49ers uh, that, I again, I think is the most talented overall roster in football. Was it his fault he got hurt? Absolutely not. I'm not putting that on him. But I'm just saying, six, seven, six or seven years of being a full-time starter, and he can never get anything done uh, towards the latter half of his career, or the latter year of his career in San Francisco, he had a great team to work with. What makes me think he's going to step into Kansas City, make this big of a difference, and make them a legit title contender? I mean, just knowing some Chiefs fans, you know, they're starving for a winner, a long-term winner, and they have had a franchise quarterback in a long time. And I think some of them are really looking forward to finally getting that franchise guy they could build on. Even if it was a guy they took in the second round, like a Ryan Nassib, a Mike Glennon, uh, guys like this. Uh, you know, I think they were looking forward to building around a guy like that. And I think what you're going to get instead is you're going to get you know, you're going to get Alex Smith in there. They're probably going to take a developmental guy late, like maybe a Matt Scott from Arizona, whoever Andy Reid has his eye on, and they're going to hope that guy that they pick in the fourth or fifth round eventually becomes the guy. Uh, that they build around in Kansas City. I can't believe that Andy Reid thinks Alex Smith is going to be the guy to get him a Super Bowl. 
Because let's face it, as desperate as Kansas City Chiefs fans are for a Super Bowl, Andy Reid is just as desperate based on how close he came as coach of the, of the Eagles. And, you know, I can't think he believes Alex Smith is the guy to get him there, but I think he thinks Alex Smith is a quality step stopgap that could change the culture there. And I don't know what else to say other than I would have took my chances on a young guy that could potentially be a franchise guy. And I think you're not going to get your uh, surefire Andrew Luck or Robert Griffin, but I, th- I thought Geno Smith or Matt Barkley or even Ryan Nassib could be that guy, or even a Mike Lennon could be that guy, when I know Alex Smith is not that guy, I guess is what I'm trying to get at. Um, I don't know how what Chiefs fans feel about the trade. Um, the, some of the Chiefs fans I know, though, kind of have mixed feelings because they know Alex Smith will make them relevant again. But on the other hand, they know Alex Smith will never make them upper echelon in the league good. Um Unless, again, they can build a 49ers-like team around him, which, let's face it, is not that typical in the NFL these days uh, to have an overall good roster like the 49ers have. I mean, those are my thoughts on the trade. Uh, again, I think it makes the Chiefs better in, in the short term. But, again, I'm more, I'm surprised Andy Reid didn't have a more long-term view of this and take a quarterback with that 34th pick overall rather than trading it for Alex Smith. Uh, but again, from the 49ers standpoint, I think the move makes total sense. It's the best they could ever ask for a guy that was a marginal to average quarterback for seven years for their team. Um, but, uh, you know, let me know what you guys think of the trade here in the YouTube comments. I know I have some strong feelings against the trade, um, but, you know, I'd be loving, love to hear, you know, an, an argument opposing mine as far as why you think Alex Smith is, is, you know, a fit in Kansas City and why I should be more on board with this. So hit me up in the YouTube comments. Uh, hit me up on Twitter at S News Analysis. And guys, I upload videos here uh, two, three times a day. A lot of NFL, some Major League Baseball. Be doing some college basketball in the next couple of weeks. Um, so be sure to subscribe to my channel here. And as I upload videos, all of my uh, videos will get uploaded to your feed here on YouTube. Uh, thanks again for listening, guys, and have a great night.